We want to welcome all of His Glory Nation from east to west to north to south as we bring you today's Take 5. Today's Take 5, Happy Tuesday, Taco Tuesday, September the 29th. There's a lot to get your, t- your tacos, get your Diet Coke. Yes, I don't re- usually have a Diet Coke on set, but I do today because we're going to need our Diet Coke and we're going to need our popcorn. Today is already turning out to be one of those days. Uh, excitement. You got the potential uh, debate tonight. Today is September 29th. The debate is tonight tonight at 9 Eastern. This is the 11th of Tishri, the year 5,781 on the Hebrew calendar. It is also, we titled this, A Call to Arms. Uh, just before we came on, I saw uh, Rush Limbaugh still doubts that Joe Biden will make it to the debate tonight. He thinks he'll, he, he potentially could bolt at the last second. I'm still the same way. We got information uh, about President Trump's uh, campaign asking for uh, a test of the ears. And also there was some breaking intel that came out uh, from military intelligence. I believe on September 10th, about 19 days ago, uh, they un- they intercepted that Biden would be having um, that he would have the questions beforehand. Gee, does it sound like what happened with Hillary Clinton that she got the questions beforehand? Oh yeah, it's rigged. It's rigged. It's rigged. It's rigged. It's always rigged. Uh, speaking of rigged, Judge Sullivan. Uh, before we came on, I was trying to get an update on the case. Uh, as many as you know, we prayed and blew the shofar yesterday for Rosh three Roshes, seven shofar blasts. One of those in particular was to blast it out for General, uh, General Flynn, an American hero. Uh, Judge Sullivan is uh, doing everything in his power uh, to delay this. It does not look good at this point. We could see a complete uh, 180, but it looks like he's, he's going to continue to try to delay this. Uh, just by reading the tea leaves and the questions he's asking Sidney Powell, A.G. Barr sent one of their best heavy hitters at the DOJ. Remember... The DOJ has dropped the case. It should be over with. The the circuit court and Judge Sullivan are, uh, if this goes on one more day, you're seeing more and more of the American people see how and what uh, injustice we have because the more they do, every day we see how General Flynn was literally set up. Speaking of General Flynn, I got an email yesterday and uh, he mentioned that today is St. Michael's Day. I didn't know that. The Archangel Michael, the great warrior, uh, he's always out there, the warrior, uh, the Archangel Michael protecting the nation of Israel and his beloved. So uh, light winds. General Flynn will be exonerated and General Flynn, they don't want General Flynn out there talking because General Flynn knows a lot, so does Sidney pa- Powell. It will turn out good, but it's going to go back and forth, back and forth, and Judge Sullivan is most definitely uh, exposing himself to be uh, rogue. There's no other, he's breaking the law, uh, as some experts in the law would say. All right, uh, but that is nothing new under the sun. Uh, General Flynn will be exonerated. And you remember yesterday we, we, we talked about, uh, I mentioned, um, we, we read General Flynn's op-ed again out of the, West, uh, the Western Journal. Uh, may have some good news about that in, in, uh, in the upcoming days. Uh, But one of the prophetic words was uh, General Flynn would be a modern day General George Washington. They know that and it's going to happen. All right. Breaking uh, Fox News was reporting uh, that Trump campaign requested a third party, uh, third party to inspect the earpieces of both candidates. They don't want Joe to be able to get the, 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 the questions and they don't want the answers to come from the earpiece. Remember, uh, Gene was talking about a quantum, a quantum computer that was put in there. In, uh, I'm assuming he meant into the earpiece. Uh, and that's what military intelligence says, too, that he's got the questions beforehand. So that's why President Trump was talking about having a drug test, which Joe Biden refused to do. Uh, let's see if Hunter takes a drug test. Where is Hunter? <laughs> President Trump said, Where, where's Hunter? T-shirts flying off the rack. Uh, where is Hunter? Uh, but as of right now, Joe Biden is not, uh, not giving in to allow them to inspect the earpiece. It, what President Trump needs to do is pull out the Tesla paperwork that, he's got, that he received from his uncle. Remember the paperwork from Tesla uh, went to uh, John Trump, uh, Donald Trump's uncle, got the paperwork. And to find out what frequency they're using for that communication and have a jammer. 
Uh, if you don't know what a jammer is, jammers work. If you have the jammer for the frequency, you can bring a jammer in there and stop the, the frequency coming. Uh, it may trigger the whole thing coming down in the frequency. That would be kind of cool. Speaking of frequencies and uh, announcements, this is only the second time I've seen this since 1996. I've been a DirecTV uh, customer since 1996, a long time. And I don't even believe, remember them doing this for 9-11, but there was another emergency broadcast alert, and this one came from California again, uh, that just came out uh, probably about 20 minutes ago. So they're prepping for something. They're prepping for something. We gotta keep, a, keep an eye on that uh, as they prep. All right, uh, so also Joe Biden has said that he wants a break every 30 minutes. Um, well, we're going to see. We're going to see. It's getting fascinating, that's for sure. Uh, speaking of the Western Journal, they have a, uh, a, a newspaper article out today, or an article out today. Everything's digital now. I, I keep saying newspaper, uh, digital. Uh, New York Times, fake news, calling out the fake news hit piece on President Trump. Uh, they failed in their own fact-checking, according to the Western, the Western Journal, if you read this. Uh, that President Trump did pay $1 million uh, in 2016 taxes and $4.2 million in 2017 taxes to the U.S. Treasury. It was in their own reporting. You see how they manipulate people, uh, manipulate the news? Fake news, fake news, fake news. That's why we need more Western journals of the world. All right, um, we continue into the voter fraud. Yeah, there's heavy military... Uh, uh, aircraft uh, presence over Houston. There's heavy military presence everywhere. Uh, this was something I was reluctant. Dennis brought that up. Um, blow the shofar, Dennis. We're going to have Dennis on to blow a shofar. Dennis, let me know when you're ready to blow the shofar live on, on Take 5. We're going to have you on to, to blow the shofar. To open, up, uh, open up one of the Take 5s with the blowing of the shofar. Um, but I was told on Saturday. Was it Saturday or Sunday? It was Saturday. Uh, from two of my, uh, one was a, one is a military intel source and the other one was from the finance reset intel source. Two different sources. They don't know each other either. That's why I keep the silos separate so I don't have any, anybody sharing the same information. That way I can uh, match it off against them. But anyway, they were both saying uh, at the same time, my, my phone was just going beep, 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 beep all day on Shabbat. Um, that there was much military movement, much military movement, and also uh, veterans and militias are ready to take arms. That's not something we want, and we don't want the Insurrection Act to be taking place, but it, there's going to be a period of time. I'm told again, I think we mentioned this yesterday, that there may be a blackout or a brownout anywhere from 1 to 17 to 30 days. Uh, somebody said 17. 17, and also to look for the date, October 17th. Um, there's going to be a lot happen before October 17th, that's for sure. Speaking of a lot happening, uh, let's just, again, go over our uh, schedule of guests that are coming on. That would be uh, October 2nd is Jonah. Jonah Ritter is going to come over, uh, talk about Sukoth. Um, and um, Amanda Grace will be coming on at 2 uh, good news is Chris uh, has gone home, so thank you for the prayers for Chris Grace and Amanda Grace. Uh, Amanda will be on Friday. Uh, after Jonah, Jonah's going to talk about Sukkoth. And then back October 7th, uh, Rabbi Jason Sovel is going to be on to talk about Sukkoth as well. So you're going to get a lot of healthy teaching about Sukkoth or the Feast of Tabernacles or the Feast of Booths. Very important Jewish day. Um, Trump's rallies in Dallas on October 17th. That's fascinating. I did not know that. I was told, circled October 17th. And I think there was, a, there, there was some crazy number of 777 that ties up to October 17th. I'd have to go back to my, uh, my phone and see what that, what, what that was all about. Somebody sent me something, a couple people have, about on October 17th, there's like seven years, some, something that with a bunch of sevens. I'll have to go back. Coincidence is not a kosher word, as the rabbi say. Uh, more balloting uh, duplicated uh, in Fairfax County. Uh, a thousand mail-in ballots were duplicated in Fairfax County. You're seeing, you're seeing this every day, every day, every day. Uh, Lynn Wood says Kyle Rittenhouse, Rittenhouse, remember Kyle Rittenhouse, the story of there, arrested. 
uh, did nothing wrong based on the evidence. So uh, I would trust in Lynn Wood. I would not want to go against Lynn Wood in a court of law. Lynn Wood does not lose. He's like Sidney Powell. Sidney, Sidney Powell may look like she's having a hard day today, but you know what? God is on her side and light wins. Uh, I let a certain general know uh, that his glory nation is praying for him. Uh, all 10 million plus worldwide and light wins because light does win. Light does win. Uh, it's going to buckle up. It's going to get bumpy, but light wins. Speaking of buckle up, it's going to get bumpy. Certain Democrats say they will not even uh, meet with Amy Comey Barrett. There was just a, a, br a presser with Charles, uh, Chuck Grassley, well, who was meeting with Amy Comey Barrett today. Uh, Hirono, uh, Da Dang Dick, the fake Marine, fake, 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 fake. Uh, Gillibrand, she's got issues with Nexum, so does Schumer. Uh, so those four that will not even meet with her, and I believe two of them, I'm not sure if Gillibrand is on the committee, um, but Hirono and uh, Da Nang are on, the, on Lindsey Graham's committee to put her into committee. So they won't even meet with her. The four senators so far say they won't even meet with her. Not even the courtesy to say, have a Diet Coke, have a cup of coffee, tell us, and we'll tell you. So I would say if Hirono and Da Nang, which are a part of that committee, if they're not going to meet with her, why should they even ask, be able to ask her any questions in committee? Um, it's just, the, you can see it. They're not done yet. They're not done yet. They're going to try to throw a Hail Mary, pun intended. Uh, Cory Booker. Cory Booker coming out and saying, uh, he says he'll meet with her, but he says she should recuse herself, she should recuse herself, she should recuse herself of anything to do with the election. She just needs to. She needs to. I think I've, I told this story before, way back when. Just be, this was before his glory became, uh, this before his glory became a ministry, uh, and the Lord was moving me towards this. I was at a conference, and Cory Booker was at that conference. He was speaking. He was calling himself a Christian. And I could see right away with Cory Booker. And at that time, I didn't know who he was. Fake, 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 fake. And, you know, fake, 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 fake always comes out in the end. Uh, I am Spartacus. Will he have his Spartacus moment again? Oh, Cory Booker. The people have re realized what he's all about. Speaking of fake, 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 Dr. Fauci to the mousetrap, he's attacking Fox News, and he's uh, talking about the differences he has with Dr. Scott Atlas. You notice things have changed dramatically with Dr. Scott Atlas? Dr. Scott Atlas is shaking everyone up, even the 343. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. As we mentioned earlier, Lindsey Graham is uh, going to start the Amy Coney Barrett uh, proceedings on the 12th of October and has it planned to be wrapped out of, com of committee by October 22nd to go to the full Senate for a vote. So by the 22nd, the next day, I don't know what Mitch McConnell will do, but there is ample time for her to be approved. They have the votes. Uh, but let, wait, wait, wait. They're going to throw something out of left field. They always do. Speaking of throwing things out of left field, this is the one that makes you go, hmm, are you getting political pressure, Nancy? Why are you making this statement? I noticed before we came on that the uh, cons consumer confidence, uh, United States uh, Americans' consumer confidence is at a six-month high today. Uh, Chicago's announced that in October they're opening up more of Chicago, many others. Uh, we're going to have a, do an article on how the New York City uh, principals are coming after Bill de Blasio. Uh, to open up the schools. People are opening faster and faster. Uh, some of the feds are saying, and uh, Larry Kudlow uh, echoed that as well, that they expect the third quarter numbers of GDP to be anywhere from 20 to 30 percent right before the election. Uh, that's, that's huge. That's with a lot of these, these uh, states still closed. Uh, that is a deciding factor for most Americans. Are you better off today than you were? put the pandemic aside. I think many more people are, are waking up to the truth of the pandemic. It was a China pandemic. They'll tell you for a long time, it wasn't China, it wasn't China. Don't be a xenophobe. Uh, except it was China and it was through the Wuhan lab. Uh, so Nancy Pelosi, uh, whether she's playing political games or is feeling political pressure, uh, she has pushed a $2.2 trillion stimulus bill out, out again, telling the Democratic uh, the, the Democrats they cannot go home to campaign until this is passed. 
Hmm. Uh, in that would be another stimulus check to the American taxpayers. That would be 1000 per person and $500 per child. I believe that's what it was the first time. So they've come down on that number a little bit, but it's the same. Uh, so if you are two, two, two people, two kids, uh, you'd look at uh, $3,400 stimulus before the election. That, not, not bad. Why are they not worried about the trillions of dollars that this has added to the debt? You'll know soon enough. Rudy Giuliani knows why. Remember Rudy Giuliani's words from our Intel source. When Rudy was first aware of the reset and the trusts that were coming in, Rudy's words were, quote, this is a gift from God. And it truly is a gift from God. We just need to make it happen. The director of the 343 Redfield uh, is, is, is voicing huge concerns over Trump's new 319. Uh, 319, um, 319 uh, firm, or doctors that he's bringing in. Careful with the tuna. What does tuna have to do with 343? I still can't believe the president brought that up. Uh, not many people got that. Uh, I got it, uh, and soon many people will get that. Tuna and 343, uh, keep an eye out for that. Maybe there's always a reason I never liked tuna. Tuna is not for me. My wife likes tuna. She likes, uh, she, 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 she likes uh, salmon more. All right, uh, outspoken Trump apologist led Facebook mis misinformation. Uh, we, we got dinged on Facebook the other day, too, uh, for something. I don't remember. We, 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 uh, we, we sent or retweeted, whatever you call it on Facebook, shared a, uh, a, a story from Breitbart or whoever it was, and we got dinged because they said it was fake news, and coming to find out, it, it was real news. Uh, and they never came back and said, okay, it's over with. They just, they bring up their third party that don't even know what they're doing. And it's political. We're seeing it's political. Outspoken Trump antagonist is the one that's doing the misinformation on Facebook. That was another prophetic word. The Lord is the creator of the algorithms and boomerang is coming to them. Uh, Ob Obama's deep state uh, Gave uh, provided private companies access to databases, including, well, this they didn't put this in the article. I put this in the article. I believe this was a Breitbart article today. Obama's deep state provided private companies access to the Intel's databases. Well, we, we told you that two years ago. Uh, specifically, the FBI gave contractors access to the databases. Spying! And one of those databases... Was, or one of those companies was Fusion GPS. You just can't make this stuff up. All that stuff we've been saying for the last couple of years is now starting to come true. Even the bathhouse in Chicago came out today. We said that two years ago. I happened to be right in the middle of that. Well, not in the middle of the bathhouse, but in the middle of uh, knowing that. We'll tell that story in a moment. Um, so, again, main, it's reaching uh, more, more ears and more eyeballs that th they provided private companies access to the Intel databases for spying purposes. Uh, Fusion GPS had access to FBI. All right, Joe Biden, ta uh, Texas political director, Dallas, I think his name is Dallas Jones. I can't read my writing. My writing's bad, and my, but my hand hurts, so it makes it even worse. Uh, accused of helping uh, illegal b uh, ballot harvesting operation. You know, we heard about Omar yesterday because of Verit uh, Project Veritas. We'll talk more about that in a minute. But this is Joe Biden's own campaign political director for the state of Texas, caught in a har uh, ba uh, harvesting ballots. You see a theme here? Have I mentioned that before? There is a huge theme. Uh, and they're going to get caught. It's almost like they're walking into it. We're seeing multiple ballots. We're seeing ballots not be signed. We're seeing ballots of three or four people, wrong names. Geez, almost almost like you'd want to have, I don't know, maybe a U.S. post office uh, patent so that this stuff can't happen? Maybe they do. Maybe they do. Um, we're going to see. A top House GOP uh, calls for um, to probe the source of the New York Times about the President Trump, Trump's tax documents because that was a felony. Whoever released those is a felony. And that's what they're calling for, the New York Times. The New York Times got caught in another fake news. 
because as President Trump got ahead of that, his attorney got ahead of that immediately and said that's not true. He did pay millions of dollars. And now in, that, uh, in their own article, the Western Journal points out, yes, he did pay millions of dollars. And people don't realize and there was a ta tax expert, I can't remember, I think his name is J Jim Ricard, uh, Rickard. If, if I, I, tw I tweeted this out. He's, he's brilliant when it comes to tax taxes. When you have a business like President Trump does, especially when you're in a business of real estate, uh, depreciation and, uh, and losses, that's part of the tax code. You may show a gain one year, but you may show a loss that you can carry over for many years. So there will be times that even though you're a billionaire, you may not pay taxes uh, because of losses. That's part of the tax code. If you don't like that, we need to change the tax code. That's why the tax code is never going to be fair to everybody unless you go to a flat tax. Because who has the ability to use every single uh, aspect of the tax code? The richest people do because they can hire the attorneys to find the loopholes. And not, not that they're trying to exploit it, but to use every advantage you have. If you don't have to pay the taxes, why would you? And uh, that's what the President Trump team has done, um, and they've, they've shown that. So uh, the top House GOP is looking at who is the person. And then there's an article that came out that the person who rele released it, I don't know if this is true, but, uh, but through a source that's pretty credible, believes that the person who released the tax information to the New York Times is none other than Christopher Steele. This is another thing. You can't make this stuff up. <laughs> oh, yeah, depreciation is required to be taken. <laughs> yeah. Oh, goodness. We're living in an upside world. Uh, we, it, sometimes it feels like the island of misfit toys. Remember that, that, that Christmas? That's what we feel like, the island of misfit toys. Um, as many as 140,000, 140,000 New Yorkers receive absentee ballots with the wrong names. It makes it hard to vote when you have the wrong name on the absentee ballot. I was, I was meditating on a Lord late last night and reading some emails, uh, interesting emails, by the way. Um, and uh, I saw this pop up on my iPad about Ohio. It says, do you want to request a, uh, a ballot to come to you? And I almost did it just to just to have it and go in and vote, but I didn't want to get in any trouble because doing something that I didn't purposely do, if I vote in, perp in person and I have an absentee, would they catch it? Uh, I don't want to do anything wrong. I don't want to do anything illegal. So I didn't hit the button to do it, but uh, it's going to be fascinating. It's going to be a fascinating time. That's why you know, justice is coming and you're going to, they're going to need extreme terpenes uh, because the pain is coming. Uh, it's a call to arms. Get your extreme terpenes, get your daytime, anytime form, formula, 1,000 or 1,500, get your nighttime. Uh, the whole family, my whole family has been taking the PM the last three nights and everybody's sleeping like a baby because we're all fighting off something. Um, you can get the gels, you can get the gummies, uh, go to His Glory Family Partners. Uh, in the in the, his glory checkout, put his glory or put his glory in your checkout, and you get a five percent discount combined. Your obey every day. I put the obey on therapeutic gel before we go on, uh, and sometimes I don't use it for the aches and pains. I did put it on my hand because something wrong with my hand today, uh, but I put it on my hand. But I usually put it by my my, my nose to help me breathe better, and I, and I breathe well. So combine both. Free shipping of forty five dollars or more. So support great Christian company and Hebrews. Got to have your Hebrews coffee. There's nothing like Hebrews coffee. Um, that, was my, that was my Bible study today, was Exodus and Moses taking the Hebrews out of the land of Egypt. All right, actual uh, Russians involved, the, the actual Russians that were involved in the Russia collusion scam were never interviewed. Just like the, the whistleblower FBI agent has come forward. This was a scam to, to, to set up General Flynn. This was a scam to set up President Trump. They never uh, interviewed the actual Russians. Remember, the subsource to Christopher Steele was a known Russian spy for 10 years. You can't make this stuff up. You can't make it up. Uh, unbelievable. The truth is coming out and then coming out and coming out and coming out. And that whole narrative has completely boomeranged. Exactly the way God said it would. Hundreds of non-citizens are registered to vote in Harris County. I think this is in uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, hundreds of non-citizens. So you, you can't vote unless you're a citizen. 
uh, they're registered to vote. How does that happen? You notice that happens in democratic areas? Uh, a lawsuit is, is coming out to prevent that from happening, but we're seeing potential voter fraud and fraud all over the place. Coalition of Black Pastors rips Kamala Harris for celebrating um, the, the brilliance of Black Lives Matter. People are starting to see the boomerang of Black Lives Matter. People are calling it out. We, we, we'll talk more about that in a minute with Shaquille O'Neal, uh, Charles Barkley. We're talking about that. They changed their, their website uh, because of the things that people went and looked at, uh, saying that they're against the nuclear family. Um, Black Lives Do Matter. It's the organization. You see where they follow the money. Uh, pain is coming there as well. So they're ripping Kamala for praising them. Also ripping them for actually bailing them out as well, as we saw Seattle, uh, Seattle uh, Public Schools do yesterday. Change it to um, not rioters and ask the students to donate to a bail fund. You can't make this stuff up. You need to get on your Beamer. That's what you need to be in for. I haven't been on the Beamer today. Usually I do the Beamer in the morning today. I'm going to try to do it differently. I'm going to do the Beamer in the afternoon. Uh, check out Beamer. It's a game changer. Uh, so get your Beamer, his Glory Family Partners, uh, Beamer today. Uh, we're going to have some new, uh, another, another thing that will go with the Beamer here, uh, here soon. Uh, and also the Beamer has a lower price point if you want to buy the Beamer. Or some people just go to Beamer sessions around the country. Uh, either or, uh, but you have a portable case that you can take now. Uh, and I believe it comes in a backpack, if I heard correctly. All right, Susan Rice. Um, Trump uh, refused to understand the world that we live in. Susan Rice is uh, lecturing President Trump, saying he refuses to understand the world we live in. This is the same Susan Rice that lied about Benghazi. This is the same Susan Rice that had to send her a note to to self about a meeting that went perfectly. Uh, Susan Rice, Susan Rice and, and, and Cory Booker are daily bad Oreos of the day. Uh, somebody sent me information about Oreos being bad anyway. If, send me that information again. Uh, I don't remember what the details of what was bad in an Oreo or something bad in an Oreo. Uh, but these are two bad Oreos, Susan Rice. And it's the same president that has what? Uh, we haven't gone to war with North Korea. South Korea just announced that the Korean War is over. Uh, he's nominated uh, yesterday for a third Nobel Peace Prize uh, for Kosovo and um, uh, peace in the Middle East. We, we expect at least two more countries to be announced this week of peace with Israel in the Middle East. Uh, record peace. We have not gone to war uh, literally uh, with with. Uh, with airplanes and, and, and naval uh, with China uh, or Russia uh, yet. Uh, he's getting uh, our troops out of harm's way, uh, fighting in Iraq, Afghanistan, uh, so that they don't guard poppy fields. Why are you guarding a poppy field? I can't tell you how many Marines I've talked to that actually served in Afghanistan. I said, what did you do when you were in Afghanistan? We guarded poppy fields. What for? You know, you know, you know and President Trump knows as well. Bring our troops home. We have the world's greatest fighting force and we use them for things that we need to fight for, not for corruption. Uh, we value the life of our troops. When you're sworn in as a, in the military, you're sworn into the Constitution of the United States of America. That's what you follow. You don't follow unlawful orders. You follow the Constitution of the United States. And um, you put your life on the line for this country. And it's got to be for the value of this country. All right, we've uh, hit the 30-minute mark. We're going to take a quick break and be right back. Coffee by His Glory, providing you with the best tasting coffee on the planet. Obey's extreme terpenes incorporate all the vital components of the industrial hemp plant by sourcing organic ingredients from the flowers, seeds, and stalks of these God-given plants. All of our products meet or exceed the 2018 U.S. Farm Bill requirements. 
Obey is leading the way in restoring past remedies for essential solutions with clean and simple, natural, organic, healthy choices. Thank you for your support as it helps fund many of the His Glory Ministries Benevolence Projects. It's no secret that we live in the age of fake news. But it's time that we look to God for our sense of faith, our sense of knowledge, and our sense of direction. Join David Scarlett in his glory ministry as we spread the word of the Lord. Welcome back. Speaking of the commercial that came out with the extreme terpenes talking about uh, when you when you purchase these products, uh, great products, Hebrews Coffee. Today, somebody mentioned today's National Coffee Day. So order your Hebrews coffee that helps the or- orphans. Glory the cow. Um, I spoke, uh, well, not speak, but emailed with uh, Pastor Fred in uh, Kenya this morning. And this week, we are going to uh, be sending them money. And uh, we're starting the, the, the deep drilling of the well in Kenya. We should have the well completely done within the next 30 days, God willing. Uh, So exciting thing for them to be able to have fresh water in our orphanage in Kenya. So it's so important. Uh, And your donations to his glory um, are the lifeblood of our ministry. So follow us on our our app. It's easy to give on our app or on our, 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 our site or if you want to get the Trump 2020s. We apologize for those who didn't get their Trump 2020 or any of the shirts in the last two weeks. Uh, Mrs. His Glory, as you know, uh, was extended from California with our daughter uh, because of her tooth. And um, she's now back, so we will be getting caught up on those orders. So get your Trump 2020 mask. Everywhere I wear the Trump, tw- I don't go out much. With a face like this, you got to cover it up. I don't go out much, but when I do, I always forget, I always got the Trump 2020 mask on. I can't tell you how many people are, that come up to me and say, I love your mask, I love your mask. They're not saying take it off anymore. They were, I haven't had anybody say that to me, but they did say that to uh, either Creed or uh, Mrs. His Glory or both. Um, good stuff. All right, Jason Whitlock. He's, uh, I like Jason Whitlock. If you don't know who Jason is, he is a sports, he used to work for ESPN. Uh, and then he, you know, he's coming out against truth, Black Lives Matter, started his own gig. I can't remember the name of his new uh, uh, organization. But he showed you the hypocrisy of the 319. He's talking about some of the, the sportscasters. I think it was last night's game, uh, Brian Greasy. Did Brian, does Brian Greasy uh, do Monday Night Football? I'm not sure. But anyway, Brian Greasy is one. If you don't know who Brian Greasy is, he is the son of Bob Greasy, Hall of Fame quarterback, of the undefeated Miami Dolphins way back when. But for you Michigan, Michigan football, Brian Greasy was the quarterback on the Michigan National Championship team in 1997. He's now an announcer. Jason Whitlock was talking about when these three broadcasters, they go to lunch together and they don't wear a mask and they sit next to each other and eat. And after the game, they go out and have drinks with each other and they sit next to each other and they're not worried about the mask. But during the game, it looks like they got that plexiglass in front of them and 1972, uh, a long time ago. I was only four when the Miami Dolphins went undefeated. Uh, Don Shula, Don Shula, the coach of the legendary Miami Dolphins team. But they said they have the plexiglass and they're making it look, they're all nervous. I remember watching the, a game from California, uh, laying on the couch because my head hurt in California. And I saw uh, Troy Aikman get into it with the other broadcaster and, the, and the, his engineer uh, because he, he got caught up in the plexiglass and wasn't told about it. So it frustrates some of them. Uh, but it's a charade. It's an absolute charade. Nobody, nobody sees that. Nobody sees that. All right, Tucker Carlson video yesterday with Diane Feinstein. I didn't know she was this. I didn't know she was 87. Um, I didn't know she was 87. That's, that, that, that's getting up there. Uh, there was a video of her going through two airports that Tucker Carlson, I think he did one of the videos, then the other video came from somewhere else, or maybe he did two, I don't remember, but he did at least one. But there's videos of Diane Feinstein walking through two airports, not wearing a mask, not caring about wearing a mask, but she's the same Diane Feinstein that wanted to make a national mandate for mask. These people don't even follow their own rules. Let's see what Diane Feinstein does 
against Amy Comey Barrett. Remember, it was Dianne Feinstein at the last second against Judge Kavanaugh. Oh, I got this letter. I've had this letter. Oh, yeah, you had the letter all in the time before Gorsuch. They were going to use it on Gorsuch. They just changed the name. And what an evil web they weaved with uh, Tudor Ford and the attorney and uh, how that was. Uh, who were on, she was on our same flight going to Dallas. It just, it's such a small world. Why are we in the middle of these things? Um, absolutely amazing. So we'll see what she has up her sleeve. The Babylon Bee. For, you, for everyone that, uh, that, that doesn't know, Babylon Bee is, is, is supposed to be a joke. Uh, Kevin Sorbo. He, he tweets out, usually on his Facebook page, about every day uh, something on the Babylon Bee because it's funny. There's truth to it, but yet it's supposed, to be, uh, it's, it's supposed to be a joke. He said, in the Babylon Bee today, it said that Trump's strategy for tonight's debate should be just let Joe Biden take the whole 90 minutes and not say a word. <laughs> just let him talk for 90 minutes. You're bound to win. There's some truth to that. There's always a little bit of truth to the Babylon Bee. Um, this is just breaking. I believe this was Paul Sperry that is reporting this uh, just a couple minutes or about, about an hour ago or so. Ex-Deputy uh, FBI Director uh, Andrew McCabe told a whopper in his new HBO documentary claiming that the FBI discovered the Wiener laptop in October of 2016. Well, there's overwhelming evidence to show that it was in September. We do now know through Fre Freedom of Information Act and documents that McCabe was aware of the Wiener laptop and stood on it and held it for 30 days until the New York PD threatened him. Remember, there's other people that have the Wiener laptop. Sidney Powell went on to talk about the, the, the Wiener laptop, how devastating the Wiener laptop is. So bad that she was talking about New York Police Department, or new, new, uh, old, uh, 30 year detectives in the New York Police Department literally throwing up. I have no tales of New York police of, of detectives that saw the Wiener laptop that had to go get counseling after seeing this. Now, these are seasoned detectives that saw this. Uh, she mentioned 675,000 emails that were on the Wiener laptop, uh, a lot of them all of Hillary Clinton on the private server. Remember, Obama said he never knew anything about it. Well, he was on a private server, too, because he had his own private email. So did uh, Loretta Lynch. They all did. Comey did as well. Uh, but that's a whopper. He's lied. They tried to they tried to wait it out till after the election, until they were threatened. Remember, we keep saying the name Prince, Prince, Prince. Prince has got a copy of that, uh, and it will be used at the right time. Rudy knows about it as well. Uh, speaking of Rudy, Rudy is um, Rudy is helping the president uh, debate today. Uh, so Rudy Giuliani is helping the president along with uh, former Governor uh, Chris Christie. Uh, Bette Midler, the, uh, the, anybody follow stars much anymore, tells Biden to, uh, uh, to, uh, to literally attack Trump, literally go fight Trump on the debate stage. These people have lost their mind. They've lost their mind. Why are they have so angry? Why did The Rock come out against, for Biden and against Trump yesterday? You're going to find out why. Mrs. Glory wasn't happy when she first heard about that. All right. Um, <laughs> this is just, wow. Uh, I'm not going to go in too depth of this because it's sick, uh, but it's something that we, that we said two years ago that I knew about. Uh, I, I was talking about two, uh, several years ago, um, that president or the former President Obama, uh, the, the known bathhouse and the known gym in Chicago uh, happened to be it's something with my, my boss at the time. I was a director at AT&T back in 2004. It would have been the spring of 2004. Uh, I didn't know who Barack Obama was. He was a state senator, I believe, at that time in Chicago. We were supposed to have dinner with my boss and Barack Obama that, that night or the following night. I was heading back to Cleveland. And something came up and he couldn't make it. But I knew about it. I knew about this bathhouse. And I knew about the, the bar. Everybody knew about it. It was the worst kept secret. And everybody, gosh, oh, no, 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 it's not true. It's not true. It's not true. Well, guess what? It came out today that Obama and Emmanuel were members of the same gay bathhouse. You can't make this stuff up. The truth always finds a way. It always finds a way out. Well, what's the chances of this knucklehead being 
in Chicago, not knowing who he was at the time. Um, <laughs> he never showed up to the dinner. Yeah. All right. Uh, Sha Shaquille O'Neal said about the police, uh, about the Breonna Taylor, uh, I would imagine you would fire back too if somebody fired at you, sticking up for the police. The police. That if somebody shoots at you, you're going to shoot back. Uh, and as we said with Charles Barkley yesterday, again, he says if you eliminate the police, and also speaking of the police, Minneapolis, where they eliminated the police, they're like, oh, maybe we made a mistake. Now they're going like, oh, 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 oh maybe too fast. But Barkley, Charles Barkley, if you don't listen to Charles Barkley, oh my God, he is funny. He is, I don't watch NBA, so I don't get to see him very often, but I see clips of him. Um, he says, who are you going to call if you have no police? Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters? Uh, that's some Barkley humor. Oh, Chuck. He's funny. All right. New York City school principals voted unanimously to uh, have Mayor de Blasio open the schools. I guess there's a lot of animosity between the New York City principals, and we know there's animosity between de Blasio and the New York PD. This is the first time ever that the New York Police Department's union is backing uh, President Trump or any, I don't know if they've ever done that before. Uh, same thing's happening in Chicago, which is unheard of, that they would be backing President Trump. This is where the police are saying enough, enough, enough. I think the Democrats see that it's gone too far and it's out of control. It's not, it's not polling well. Remember the polling for Black Lives Matter at the all-time peak of their propaganda was 54%. Last poll I saw was down under 30%. Americans are waking up. Somebody put a message in our uh, chat here on His Glory TV as well about, well, people won't get this news because they watch fake news. Well, fake news numbers are going down and down and down and down and down. Uh, people are waking up that they are uh, agenda. Even themselves, like Wolf Blitzer, going after Da Nang and calling him out in a lie, trying to tell us something different uh, that was not true. They've been doing that for years. Nobody ever questioned them. No, they're getting questioned. Oh, Da Nang, where is it in the Constitution that they're doing is wrong by nominating a Supreme Court justice? Uh, quite the contrary. It is in the Constitution. He has a constitutional duty to do that. Uh, so the New York uh, school principals and the New York PD have a strong uh, common uh, thorn in their side. That is de Blasio. Uh, POTUS demands that the U.S. attorneys investigate Omar over the Project Veritas uh, ballot harvesting. This is not going away. I remember they got her on three other things, too, but this is bleeding, bleeding, bleeding more. There was another report, too, that came out today about her ties to an Iranian, uh, Iranian, um, Iranian group. We've known she's been involved with CARE and other terrorist organizations as well. But now this ballot harvesting caught red-handed, literally. Uh, they were paying them between $200 to $800 for a single ballot. Wow, that's a lot of money. You really want to win big if you're paying $800 for one vote. Uh, no wonder some of these cities always go 150% to a particular Democratic candidate. And when we say 150%, that means 150% of people voted versus who was registered. Remember that happened in 2016 in Cleveland, Detroit, and Philadelphia. And now you're seeing those areas get caught. There was not a single vote in those three precincts, of those certain precincts, in Cuyahoga County, in Cleveland, Philadelphia, and in, uh, I believe it was Southfield, Detroit, or the city of Detroit. I think it was the precinct, precinct of city of Detroit. Not a single person voted for Trump. You would think somebody would stumble, fall down, and accidentally hit the wrong name at least one time. And worse than that is that the, the, they, they spike the football. They're not, when you cheat, well, we don't cheat, but if you cheated, you've got to be smart about your cheating. They cheat so much over that it sticks out like a sore thumb. 150% uh, more votes came into those three precincts than people that were registered. And many of them were dead. And how do dead people continue to vote one particular party? You can't make this stuff up. People are now starting to be aware of this. Uh, speaking of aware, Peter Strzok's attorney attacked, and it was part of the briefing I saw before we came on uh, in the, the Judge Sullivan case. I don't know if, that's a, if it's uh, adjourned and he's made a decision. My guess is at this point, based on the tea leaves of what, how it's going, that Sullivan is going to stall today. Um, 
we shall see, uh, just by the, the questioning he was giving to Sidney Powell. But Peter Strzok's attorney sent a, uh, a letter to Judge Sullivan saying uh, Sidney Powell and General Flynn um, uh, attacking uh, General Flynn and Sidney Powell, that they shouldn't even be uh, presenting what they're presenting today. And they, he, the, the attorney for Peter Strzok says that they believe some of the, the, the documents have been altered. Peter Strzok's in a world of hurt. Peter Strzok's in a world of hurt. Uh, and so is going to be Judge Sullivan very soon. Very, very, very soon. All right, DOJ antitrust uh, is going after the Google search engine at this time. So it doesn't look like it's all of Google or all of Alphabet, which is the parent company of Google, uh, which has YouTube as well. It looks like it's going to be the search engine. And when you have that much of a dominance in the search engine, which Google does, uh, that is a definitely a, a monopoly and an antitrust. So that is confirmation again that the DOJ is looking into antitrust against Google search engine. Uh, 343, for all those who plan on traveling for Thanksgiving, the 343, uh, maybe they want you to have tuna instead of turkey. But the 343, I had to read this again and see, was that from the Babylon Bee? But the 343 is recommending to do a virtual Thanksgiving for the entire country so that the 319 does not spread. I know there's a lot of families out there that like, would like a virtual Thanksgiving, <laughs> less chaos. Uh, but a virtual Thanksgiving uh, is being recommended by the 343. Instead of cranberries, maybe what we have instead of cranberries is a little bit of Roxy to help things go. Oh, fascinating times. Whoever thought, how did you even comprehend doing a a 343, or yeah, a uh, virtual Thanksgiving. When I told my sons this, my, my, we, we and our Thanksgiving, we have Thanksgiving here every year. Uh, we have since we moved to Ohio, probably. How long have we been in Ohio? We've been in Ohio 20 years. It's amazing, we've been in Ohio 20 years. But for 20 years, we've had all our family come in to the Cleveland area to have Thanksgiving. And we do this game, we do this gift game that we've been doing for years, and the kids love the gift game. The adults love the gift game. And that was the first thing both my sons said. If we're going to do a virtual Thanksgiving, how are we going to do the gift game? There was something about the gift game. Gift game's fun. And then a lot of them are gag gifts as well. All right, teachers, um, a teacher live. I can see why uh, teachers are a little bit nervous now. I the other day I was, I was in the living room uh, having a cup of coffee, and my uh, oldest son was on a Zoom call for school. His teacher was giving him, and he had it on he had it. I don't think he had his earphones on. I could hear what the teacher was saying. Um, I'm sure teachers don't want to, the parents. Teachers don't want the parents to hear what they're saying because now you can hear what they're teaching your kids. But anyway, this teacher told a student in the back. Uh, in the back of the student had a Trump flag, and he says, "You have 15 seconds to take that Trump flag down, or I'm going to kick you out of my class." And he literally started counting down. I think he got to like three. Uh, before the, the, the kid took uh, the, the, the flag. How does, it, how does the teacher have the right to do that? It's your own house. Absolutely amazing, amazing times we live in. That's why we're going to have a revamping of our education system. We've been indoctrinated. We, people are starting to wake up to that indoctrination. Um, Breitbart came out with an uh, 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 article yesterday. This is something we said about two years ago as well. Remember the connections? Actually, we told you the names of the Lockheed Martins, the HSBCs, uh, how James Comey was given uh, sweetheart deals at Lockheed Martin, got $8 million buyout at Lockheed Martin, how this is connected to the Clinton Foundation. All this is interwined. Uh, it's part of our scandals. Uh, James Comey is in the middle of it. We think of James Comey just being a corrupt uh, FBI director uh, with the Clinton emails and the, the witch hunt after President Trump. Oh, his training went far deeper. Lockheed Martin, $8 million. Clinton Foundation, well, Hillary Clinton is a sitting uh, Secretary of State. Lockheed Martin gets these big, big deals. Clinton Foundation always gets paid. Uh, and there's also connection to HSBC. So Breitbart connected the dots of this, as we've said about two years ago. More and more mainstream are, knowing, are starting to know the truth and how these dots are connected. 
And one of the big ones is the 343. That, you know, the 343 is not even one of my largest scandals. I don't even have them on there, I don't believe. And no, we didn't pick 17. We, 17 just happened to be the number of scandals that uh, I wrote down uh, about two years ago. Probably a good time just to read them real quickly to show you that all 17 scandals were right in the middle of and things I've been busting out on all of them. Number one is 9-11. More information has been coming out on 9-11. Benghazi, Benghazi isn't over. We see the reason why they covered up Benghazi. Susan Rice, uh, there's, gonna be re uh, there's gonna be repercussions. State Department, pedophilia ring, and State Department is the genesis of along all these scandals. We see it through the rogue ambassadors. Uh, remember we said keep the eye on uh, Victoria Nuland? Her day is coming. You're starting to hear her name a little bit more around Ukraine, but it's deeper. Uh, Yovanovitch, uh, Bad Oreo, uh, that's around um, State Department uh, ambassadors, weaponized. Samantha Powers unmasking 300 times, so she has no idea. Clinton scandals, not the Clinton Foundation, the other Clinton scandals. Uh, several Clinton scandals are being looked at that are going to come out. Clinton Foundation, that is being investigated. Uh, I'm told there's a grand jury on the Clinton Foundation. That's getting closer and closer. Yesterday it was announced that John Durham is morphing his investigation to include the Clinton Foundation. Fast and Furious, not over. Sending weapons and drugs to the Mexican cartel. You can't make this stuff up. Eric Holder, uh, Fast and Furious. IRS, IRS, IRS scandal, uh, gonna be released more. Uh, they really, really weaponized it. Now you see why some people get President Trump's uh, tax records. That's a felony, uh, but far worse. Spygate, FISA, unmask. We haven't talked a lot about unmasking. Remember, uh, 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 General Flynn was unmasked, what, 37 times? Uh, Project Folsom, that is the UK. It, Boris Johnson, uh, uh, Bradigan, um, uh, spying on the United States. Uh, George Papadopoulos talks about it. Project Hammer. That's the blackmailing of like Chief Justice Roberts with John Brennan. Uranium One is not over. Uh, uh, Victoria Tenzing's client, William Campbell, has the dirt on that. Federal Reserve being trumped to gold back. Deep State Illuminati. You couldn't even say the word deep state. It was a conspiracy theory two years ago. Everybody says deep state now. Everybody says Illuminati because it's real. Reagan, JFK, the truth will come out on that. United Nations scandal is starting to happen and eventually they will go to Babylon. Uh, Catholic Church, you're seeing that start to happen now. And Nexum and Epstein. Uh, Nexum, there's supposed to be a court hearing, I think this week, around uh, the, the head of Nexum, Rainier, is sentencing. So we should see more come out on that. Uh, and Epstein's not over either. Part of Epstein came out with uh, former Governor uh, Richards of New Mexico. We'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, that's the next story. Rutrow, former New Mexico Governor Richards, uh, allegedly took bribes to fund sexual services. That's been breaking today. He was on Epstein Island and very close to the Clintons. It's coming deeper and deeper. We said earlier, reports said that Christopher Steele may be the one that gave the New York Times the tax information on President Trump. That's not verified, uh, but the source is pretty good. Lindsey Graham, um, Sean Hannity, both, I believe, said yes last night. Uh, the next D-class that's coming out, which is eminent, it is a bombshell, said, Lindsey said, it will flip the Russian uh, collusion narrative. Completely flip it, as in a boomerang. Uh, literally, a boomerang. Uh, I'm told it's big, big, big. So that could be this week. This could be this week. Uh, new study, less than 1% of teachers and students have gotten 319 from going back to school. Yeah, I've seen had a New Mexico ranch too. Isn't that fascinating? I mean, what, did, what, did, got, what, what did Governor Richards know about that New Mexico ranch, I wondered? I forgot all about that. Uh, they're all connected. Everything's connected. This is one breaks my heart too that I mentioned several years ago, but it came out, uh, it came out yesterday again. Remember we said, watch Haiti, watch Haiti. Haiti, Haiti, Haiti is going to be in the news. It's already being in the news. Well, today, Red Cross, $500 million missing in the Haiti relief. Red Cross, unfortunately, is on that list. Uh, $500 million missing in the relief of Haiti. What did they do and what did they know? 
We already talked about the emergency alert going on. Uh, I don't know if there's any other broadcast. Uh, if you have a cable provider, if you saw an emergency broadcast, go out today, a national emergency broadcast. Again, uh, I have uh, DirecTV, and since 1996, there's only two times, maybe three, maybe three, and I don't remember it even on 9-11. Um, that there was emergency broadcast. The last two of them have been around California. The, the message was specifically around California. It's fascinating, too, because I've heard a couple prophecies. One was Amanda. We'll have Amanda again back on Friday at 2. Uh, so we'll ask Amanda about the prophecy of a huge shaking in California. Uh, and then I heard another prophecy of some, somebody that I trust that there would be a big explosion in California. Uh, so that's only the second or third time I've seen a national uh, uh, alert test uh, on, on, on direct TV. So that wraps up our take five for today. For today, it is September the 29th, a national coffee day. Uh, get your coffee. Uh, pray for General Flynn. Justice will come through. Uh, no matter what, um, no matter what Judge Sullivan rules today, uh, uh, light wins. It's just in God's timing. We have to trust God's timing and uh, it, it will all come. So we, uh, we pray for Benjamin Netanyahu in biblical Israel. We pray for our president and discernment. We pray for his military uh, MI, uh, his cabinet. Uh, we pray for our law enforcement, first responders. We pray for our, our military, foreign, domestic, above ground, underground. Last but not least, we pray for each and every one of you. Light wins. And you need to be that light of Christ. There's no do-overs in life. Even when we're a Christian, that's when our walk begins. We need to be the light of Christ in these days. And that's why the Lord said, people ask me, well, where did Take 5 come from? What, what does Take 5 mean? God told me Take 5 about two years ago, two and a half years ago. We were doing just kind of a world update every week on Saturdays of what the war was happening in the world, how it connected to the Bible. And people loved it. So the Lord told me one day, he goes, Take 5. Do it every day. I go, How am I going to do this every day, Lord? He says, I will be with you. And he is always with us. And that is why he's used Take 5 to bring so many people to come to this ministry and see the risen Christ and either get re-engaged in the Bible and their walk or to know Christ. Uh, it's just absolutely amazing. I told Jim Stockstell when he was on, there was a, uh, it was a man uh, I can't remember, it was in, in, from the United States that accepted Christ uh, after Jim's message. Uh, to, that's what it's all about. It, that's what it's all about. We got to bring people to Christ. If we want to have a great awakening, the greatest awakening is the light of Christ. So be that light for a friend, a family member, or even a stranger. Light wins, but we must shine that light. Go in his shalom. God bless you.